Okay, we're going to make Jaeger schnitzel. Mm. What's Jaeger schnitzel? Well, literally, it means hunter's cutlets. Okay. And I guess this would be an inexpensive dish that they would make in the from stuff that they had around the farm. Okay. And normally it's made with veal, but we're going to use pork. And what I got was one of those pork roasts, the fat ones. Not the skinny, skinny ones, but the fatter ones. Yep. And I just cut it into slices. Like quarter inch? Quarter inch, about that, yeah. And we're going to season them. So if you can grab okay. the salt. I will do. And I'll do the pepper thing. Now, did you bang these? With the... No, I didn't. You can if you want them thinner, but I said, I, I want... I want to get a bite when yeah. I take a bite. So I left them that way. And then we're going to do the typical dredge. Flour, eggs, and um, breadcrumbs. Can you sure. give these a whip? I will. Are those unseasoned breadcrumbs? Yes, just very plain breadcrumbs. Because later on we're going to have a sauce on this, so we don't need any extra flavor. Oh, okay. And I certainly don't want Italian flavors in a German dish. No, so. <laughs> it's not appropriate. So we'll start flouring. Those look nice. They do. We so, have a lot of German restaurants around here, and when we go out, we we almost always get the Jaeger schnitzel. It's just so good, and it's a foresty type dish, so there's a lot of mushrooms involved. Oh, I love mushrooms. mushrooms. I've never had this dish, so I'm excited about it. It's really good. And uh, Are these whipped enough? Yep, that's fine. Okay. I better turn this, bring gonna, this heat up over here. I'm, I'm just going to get rid of the slits. Okay, I'm going to add, I've got a couple of tablespoons of butter in the pan. And I'm putting in some oil. We might have to add it between. Okay. Because, you know, it uses it up. And if you can, as I do you want me egg to add in, if you can just do the flour. Sure. I'll be the dirty-handed one. I really should have had this pan heating a little bit more. But, it'll be fine. So we're just going to keep flour, egg, breadcrumb, fry, um, as soon as they get browned on both sides, then we'll take them out and we will drain them. No. So what else is in the sauce? I'm just curious. There's going to be chicken broth. There's cream involved. Mm. There's thyme. Um, mushrooms. And then it's finished off in the typical German way of a lot of parsley. Oh, that on sounds top. wonderful. Yep. So we'll just keep doing this. Very nice. Um, what would you, when you've had this out, what do you serve this with? What would be the accompaniments? We're going to make, well, we're going to have red cabbage oh, yum. served with this because that would be a very typical side dish for this. Well, for any of the German dishes, they like yeah. red cabbage. And red cabbage is so good for you. I like it too. And you can make it all season long, all year long, you can get the red cabbage. Absolutely. Although I did go to one supermarket yesterday to get red cabbage and it had to be this, really the most pitiful red cabbage I've ever seen in my <laughs> life. It had a head about this big and then a ton of big leaves and I'm like, oh, that's really sad. Can't do anything. Well, needless to say, I did not buy it there. Yeah, I don't blame you. I trekked over to the supermarket across the street and bought it there. Yeah, especially this time of year, they should be having that. Should be well, it's right out of the yeah, garden. Absolutely, I didn't grow any this year. I grew more tomatoes in there. All right. Okay. We're just gonna let these fry, and we'll be back to show you what they look like when they're all done. All right. Here's our Jaeger schnitzels. They look delicious. They're gonna look even more delicious in a little while. So we're gonna add. More, more butter, more butter to the pan. Yay! And we're gonna add stuff like bacon. Six slices of bacon chopped. Wow. And a half of a large onion chopped. And we're just going to let these have a good time for about well until the onions get soft and the bacon starts Cooked. getting a little brown. So we'll just. Stand here and uh, smell. Brown that bacon. Pork on pork. Pork on pork. <laughs> I love it. Go. No wonder this is a delicious dish. <laughs> this is fabulous. Right. So is it, the bacon isn't going to, you're not cooking it till it's crispy? I'm going to try to get it a little bit a crispy. Little crispy. Okay. So this is going to take probably five or six minutes. Okay. We'll come back and we'll show you what we have. All right, Pam, that bacon looks like it's getting pretty brown. You want to take it out. Sure. We want to leave the fat in the pan. Okay. That's Good stuff. Yeah, it smells delicious with the onions and mm -hmm. the bacon. And then we have a 
approximately a pound of sliced mushrooms, which we're now going to put in that pan, saute them in that, until the uh, mushrooms give off some of their water and they start turning just a little golden around the edges. Nice. All right, there's just a little onions in there, but I got it, most of it out. Okay. So that's that, and these Plop go in. Plop those in. Okay, I'll take the bowl. Straggler. And then we're just gonna saute these for four or five minutes until they exude their moisture and start turning brown and then we'll continue with the sauce after that. Yeah. You know what's nice about this and I'm thinking this is a one pot so far we've only we've only used this one dish. Exactly. exactly. So in the end the cleanup it's almost a one Absolutely. pot wonder. Absolutely. So we'll be right back as soon as we finish these mushrooms. So Lee, how do these look to you? They look really good. They They're smell beautiful. tremendous. Mm. So now, how about adding back the bacon and the onions? Okay. I mean, how can you lose this? I know. This? It's, <laughs> it's this just is so mm. good. And then we have a cup and a half of chicken broth and a cup and a half of light cream. Okay. And we're going to crank this up. We're going to pour those in. Mm-hmm. And we're going to mix those up, or PM's going to mix them up, and we're going to wait until, we're going to let it really cook down until it's almost thickened. We're going to add a teaspoon of thyme. Thyme in the kitchen, that, thyme yeah. for thyme. Yeah. Is that dried? That is dried thyme, right. It's, I didn't have fresh. If it was fresh, you would use more. You always use more always when it's use fresh. More. And we've got our meat tented here with aluminum foil to keep it warm. And now we're just going to have to wait about five, six, seven minutes until this kind of boils down and thickens up and then we're ready to eat. eat. Favorite part. <laughs> so be right back. That's mm. Smells good, Pam. It does. And we're ready nice to plate. Reduce. I'm ready. Okay. Here's one for you. One for me. Nice. And you'd like We've me got to put the red straight. cabbage to go along with it. Yum. This is a trip to Germany right here oh. on a plate. This is amazing. Reach this one. I am, I am watering all over the place. I too. just cannot mm, wait. And then to finish, a little bit of parsley. Nice. A gift for you. Thank you. And one for me. Oh, this is yummy. And we are going to partake. I wish you were here. Yeah. It's, this is the best.